Joshua doing? What do you say? You ready? I used to wrestle about years ago, and I had an accident, and I don't get to anymore, so I just manage. Beating somebody up, that's what I like about wrestling. I'm not getting in there and just beating my opponent up. I, can, I don't know what them rednecks out there, what appeals to them, to be honest. I don't understand. You know, I think it'd be better off if they would just stay home, since you're going to get on that subject, and take a bath every now and then and clean up. They smell, they don't take a bath, they have no deodorant in their house. I don't care what might have been said to you or what you might have been told, anything can happen in professional wrestling on any given night. I'm not gonna guarantee a win, I'm not gonna guarantee a victory, but I will guarantee a lot of pain and punishment. And anything I have to do to keep this junior heavyweight championship around my waist, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't care what it is. Well, they told Steve Lane he couldn't preach a sermon, but I just got one thing to tell you. And you take it in just like you do your preachers on Sunday morning, you bunch of hypocrites. You sit down and you shut up, and you watch a professional in action, baby, because you're missing to see one. You're missing to see the best it gets. I like the chess game of wrestling. I like getting in there and seeing what kind of moves my opponent might have, trying to master them moves, getting in there, trying to judge what he might do next and what I might can do to get out of it or get him before he can get me. Oh, that's what wrestling is, a chess game. That's what it's always been. And the leader of the pack at the end of the time limit, at the end of the match, is going to be the winner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 